And just sticking with this first page for a second, um, again, talking about the, the griotic performance. So the griot is oftentimes or always uh, performing with uh, instrumentation. The griot is, there are different types of griots, right? There's, there's different types of griotic performances, which range from the highly sort of ritualized to more or less, you know, like pop music sort of singers, you know, blues or, or, or jazz type singers. Uh, so this performance is more of, you know, a higher ritualized version. Um, and so there is instrumentation that's going with it uh, using traditional uh, Malian instruments. The griot himself is usually performing in three modalities, what is called a speech mode, a recitation mode, uh, and a song mode. So, um, and you might get this from the reading, but not always. So he's, he's sometimes he's narrating events, uh, and that's the speech mode. The recitation mode is more praise, uh, ritualistic type phrasings. Uh, the genealogies at the beginning uh, are referenced in that. And then the song mode is when he breaks into, into, into song. So it's a pretty uh, elaborate performance, a pretty sophisticated performance, uh, and it's all being done in this, uh, this, this oral way. Okay. Now looking, uh, just finishing off my comments on the text, looking at the end of the text here, right, to help you with this text, there is a glossary of frequently used maninka terms, right? Bala here is referring to the balaphone, which is one of the instruments which are still used today and which we'll see in the story. And so these words are going to be used in the text. So this is a translation strategy to leave certain original words in, uh, or certain words in their original form as a type of um, uh, authenticity move, but also it's a type of alienation move, right? So it's not allowing the reader, the Western reader, to totally uh, sort of colonize the text, uh, if I may use that word. So, as I said before, uh, oftentimes uh, difficult texts like this, or um, texts from you know different areas of the globe that are done in their authentic, ritualized or culture in cultured form, are oftentimes modernized in the West, turned into narrative or prose, or turned into film, and so a lot of the authenticity and the cultural uh, sort of strangeness is lost.